For Black History Month, I'm talking about the work of one black biblical scholar or theologian every day. And today is Mitzi Smith's book, Womanist Sass and Talkback, Social Injustice, Intersectionality, and Biblical Interpretation. Smith's book is made up of half a dozen chapters, each engaging in a different social justice reading of scripture, and each explicitly from the perspective of and for the benefit of black women and their communities. Smith takes an intercontextual approach to biblical interpretation, pairing biblical passages with contemporary instances of social injustice that have plagued black communities. These paired biblical passages and contemporary situations don't necessarily have anything in common with each other, but rather through these pairings, Smith is able to have these biblical passages talk back to, in the sense of challenge or meaningfully confront, the contemporary situations she's paired them with. And it's a testament to Smith's interpretive creativity that this talk back is handled a little bit differently in each instance. For example, Smith pairs John chapter 4 and the story of the Samaritan woman at the well with the water crisis in Detroit. And in this story, it's the Samaritan woman's need for water and Jesus' accommodation of that need that talks back to the water crisis and the fundamental injustice underlying it. Sometimes Smith highlights characters in the text that talk back, like when she discusses the story of the Syrophoenician woman who talks back to Jesus and is blessed as a result. And sometimes it's Smith herself who talks back to the text, like in her very critical reading of the parable of the ten virgins in Matthew 25. The sass and talkback that Smith is able to identify in her pairing of text and context always serves the end of resisting social injustice from a womanist perspective. Smith says in her introductory chapter that writing this book was therapeutic for her, and you can really feel that as you make your way through the text. This book is an enormously creative and constructive expression of her frustrations with the social injustice that black communities have had to contend with in just the past few years. When I finished the book, I couldn't help but think, may all our frustrations be blessed in such a productive way.